Is reopening right now safe? That is the question on the minds of people across the state. And KEZI 9 News reporter Mike Cerullo spoke to doctors and other health officials to find out. Is it safe is a very complex question. And one with an answer that depends on where you live. Dr. Brenda Ormesher is an infectious disease specialist at Riverbend Hospital. She says now is the right time to reopen. It is not the safest option for your health related to COVID, but is the safest option for our society as a whole at this point. She says there is still a risk for people who are unvaccinated. In places like Douglas County, where fewer people have gotten the shot, Public Health Director Bob Dannenhofer says reopening could be risky. There's a lot of people haven't been vaccinated and our risk is higher. So we're asking people still to be cautious. And the hospitals have not fully cleared COVID-19 patients from their beds at Riverbend and Springfield. We have definitely seen a more um, leveling of COVID patients. But Dr. Ormesher says hospital beds are still filling up. We are seeing more non-COVID related um, illnesses occurring. So our hospitals remain very full. So making sure that we minimize people getting sick from COVID is very important. But not everyone has a choice to get vaccinated yet. And some medical experts are concerned that reopening so soon could mean an increase in cases among the youngest members of our population. A lot of what you, children do is what they see their role models, their parents, other adults do. So if other people are not, are not masking, um, the children will also likewise not mask as often. The state's epidemiologist, Dr. Dean Seidlinger, says that camps and child care facilities should take other precautions. These locations will have to have a communicable disease plan so they know what to do if someone with COVID comes to the location. The state plans to release updated guidelines for schools before students return to the classroom in the fall. Reporting in Springfield, Mike Cerullo, KEZI 9 News.